This is the first of a sequence of videos on elementary multivariate statistics. Multivariate statistics, that is statistics that deals with multiple variables simultaneously. This is in contrast with univariate statistics that deals with just one variable at a time. Now in statistics, univariate or multivariate, we work with variables. From a layman's viewpoint, a variable is like a measurement, say height, weight, blood pressure or some observed quantity like amount of cells or some trait like gender, smoking habit, etc. From a technical perspective, however, these are called random variables. Let's understand this concept first. In statistics, we work with a population of individuals like all people in a country, all possible weather conditions in a region. Typically, it is a huge set, sometimes even an infinite set. We shall call it capital omega. Now, for each individual in capital omega, we have some measurement. Like, if the individuals are patients, then blood pressure could be a measurement. This is basically a real valued function defined on the population. There is no randomness in this function. Now, we want to make inference about the behavior of the function over the entire population, which is too large to be enumerated completely. So, we draw a random sample of individuals from it. This is where the randomness enters the picture. If a typical selected individual is called little omega, then the corresponding variable value is x omega. This is a random quantity because this little omega has been chosen randomly. This entire setup is called a random variable. It is made up of two things, a deterministic function on the population and a random sampling scheme. Well, that's precisely what happens for both univariate and multivariate statistics. The only difference is that in multivariate statistics, there are more than one function. So, we have got x1 to xp. Now, sometimes we pack all these things into a single vector valued function. So, when we pick an individual little omega at random, we get a random vector as the value. Like height, weight and blood pressure of a randomly selected patient all bundled as a single triple. If we have a sample of size n and there are p variables, then we have how many? n times p many values. It is customary to arrange all these values as an n pi p matrix. That is, we have got n rows and p columns. This matrix is called the data matrix. Each column here corresponds to one, vari one variable and each row here corresponds to a case. Now the different columns may hold different types of values. Some may be continuous, some may be categorical or counting or whatever. But all the values in the same column must be of the same type. Let me give you three real life examples in the next video.